Understanding Glycemic Index and Glycemic Load for Blood Sugar Control Welcome to our informative video on Understanding Glycemic Index, GI, and Glycemic Load, GL, and their role in blood sugar control. Maintaining stable blood sugar levels is crucial for overall health, especially for individuals with diabetes or those looking to manage their weight. In this video, we will explore what glycemic index and glycemic load mean, how they affect blood sugar levels, and provide practical tips for incorporating low GI foods into your diet for better blood sugar control. What is glycemic index, GI? Glycemic index, GI, is a measure of how quickly carbohydrates in a particular food raise blood sugar levels. It ranks foods on a scale from 0 to 100 based on how they affect blood glucose levels compared to pure glucose. Foods with a high GI are rapidly digested and absorbed, causing a rapid spike in blood sugar, while foods with a low GI are digested and absorbed more slowly, resulting in a slower and more gradual rise in blood sugar. Understanding glycemic load, GL, glycemic load, GL, takes into account both the GI of a food and the amount of carbohydrates it contains per serving. It provides a more accurate picture of how a specific food affects blood sugar levels compared to GI alone. The formula for calculating GL is, GL equals, GI times carbohydrate content per serving, divided by 100. Foods with a low GL have a minimal impact on blood sugar, while foods with a high GL can cause a significant rise in blood glucose levels. Benefits of low GI and low GL foods. Blood sugar control. Consuming low GI and low GL foods can help regulate blood sugar levels and prevent spikes and crashes. This is especially beneficial for individuals with diabetes or insulin resistance. Weight management. Low GI and low GL foods tend to be more satisfying and can help control appetite and reduce cravings. Including these foods in your diet can aid in weight management and prevent overeating. Energy and sustained fuel. Low GI foods provide a steady release of glucose into the bloodstream, providing sustained energy over a longer period. This can help maintain energy levels and support optimal physical and mental performance throughout the day. Heart health. Diets rich in low GI and low GL foods have been associated with a reduced risk of heart disease and improved cardiovascular health markers, such as lower blood pressure and improved cholesterol levels. Incorporating low GI and low GL foods into your diet. Choose whole grains. Opt for whole grains like quinoa, brown rice, and whole wheat bread instead of refined grains which have a higher GI. These whole grains provide more fiber and nutrients, promoting better blood sugar control. Include fiber-rich foods. Foods high in fiber, such as fruits, vegetables, legumes, and nuts, tend to have a lower GI. Fiber slows down the digestion and absorption of carbohydrates, leading to a slower and more gradual release of glucose into the bloodstream. Pair carbohydrates with protein and healthy fats. Combining carbohydrates with protein and healthy fats can help lower the overall GI of the meal and prevent rapid blood sugar spikes. For example, enjoy a piece of whole grain toast with avocado and scrambled eggs. Be mindful of portion sizes. Even low GI foods can raise blood sugar levels if consumed in large quantities. Pay attention to portion sizes and aim for balanced meals that include a variety of nutrient-dense foods. Overall, Understanding the glycemic index and glycemic load of foods can be a valuable tool for blood sugar control and overall health. Incorporating more low GI and low GL foods into your diet can help regulate blood sugar levels, promote weight management, and support overall well-being. By choosing whole grains, fiber-rich foods, and balancing carbohydrates with protein and healthy fats, you can make informed choices that positively impact your blood sugar levels and overall health. Remember, it's important to work with a healthcare professional or registered dietitian to personalize your diet and ensure it aligns with your specific health needs and goals. Foods with a high GL have a significant impact on blood sugar levels, while foods with a low GL have a less significant impact. People with diabetes or other conditions that affect blood sugar control may benefit from following a low GI or low GL diet. This can help to keep blood sugar levels stable and reduce the risk of complications. There are a number of factors that can affect the GI of a food, including the type of carbohydrate, the way the food is cooked, and the amount of fiber in the food. The GI of a food can also vary depending on the individual. Some people may be more sensitive to the effects of high GI foods than others. There are a number of resources available to help you find the GI and GL of different foods.
The Glycemic Index Database is a good place to start. Here are some tips for following a low GI or low GL diet. Choose foods with a low GI or GL. Eat plenty of fiber-rich foods, such as fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Cook your food in healthy ways, such as steaming, roasting, or grilling. Avoid processed foods, as these often have a high GI. Be aware of your portion sizes. Even a low GI food can have a significant impact on blood sugar levels if you eat too much of it. If you are following a low GI or low GL diet, it is important to talk to your doctor or a registered dietitian. They can help you create a plan that is right for you.